Hi everybody, this is Noah Karspekin, Vice President with Iowa Fire Control, and today I want to talk to you just a little bit about the components of your kitchen exhaust system. I want to talk to you about that so that I can maybe help you understand what it is that we do as a, as a kitchen exhaust cleaning company or a hood cleaning company and why we do that um, and, and, and a little bit on how we do that. So basically I want to start by kind of showing you a, a broad overview of what happens and, and you'll have to forgive me for the crude drawing um, but basically what happens is down below we have the appliances. Those appliances create effluent. You use different styles of, of grease in, in those cooking, animal fat, and so what happens is that effluent comes up into your hood system. Many people don't know that the draw comes from the exhaust fan, which is either on the roof or it could be on the side of the building as well. Typically what we're going to find is most of the exhaust fans are on the roof or the side of the building. In some of the older style kitchen exhausts, what we end up seeing is, is inline exhaust fans and we try not to do very much work with an inline exhaust fan because it ends up being headaches for us and for the customer. So what you have is these appliances creating effluent and that effluent comes up into the canopy hood and as you see I have hood right here and there are many different styles of hoods um, but the most obvious style of hood is going to be a wall mounted canopy or an island canopy hood. So what you have is that effluent coming up and through that hood, many places have multiple hoods, and, and then it goes into the ductwork. And basically that fan is going to pull that effluent, that hot air, and that grease up and through that system just like this. But what happens is because there are metal style baffle filters in the hood, and, and I have listed right here, UL1046 baffle filters, those baffle filters catch about 25% of the actual grease that's, that's in the air that's moving through the system, which is why they're there. As that particular effluent moves through the system, what it does is it moves throughout the ductwork up to the fan. Now what we find is that in many of the buildings that we do work in, many of the restaurants, many of the grocery chains, and many of the motels, hotels, have ductwork that have 90 degree bends in them, or, or they have you know six or seven stories worth of ductwork that we actually can't access. And when we go and we clean a kitchen exhaust system, we need to, one, be able to access that so that we can inspect it, and two, be able to access that so that upon inspection, if it's found to be grease laden, we can go ahead and, and have that cleaned. So, there will be strategically placed access panels within that system. And if you're interested in access panels or knowing more about them, check out our videos on our website as well. So as that effluent comes out and through this ductwork, what it ends up doing is hitting this fan right here. And there, there are many different types of fans that could be on a system. The most common is, a, is an upblast mushroom fan. And, and it looks just like a mushroom. It's got fan blades down below. And it should have, as per NFPA code, a set of hinges on that particular fan. And what those hinges do is they, they allow that fan to actually flip off of that ductwork. So what that fan does is, is it actually comes off of the ductwork and we can clean down into the system right here. Because the fact of the matter is, is if your exhaust fan doesn't have a hinge on it, we cannot clean from the top down into your kitchen exhaust system. So what we have is this exhaust fan up here on a hinge kit and then on here, and it's kind of hard to see, is, is this little guy right here and what that's supposed to be is a drip pan or a drip box or some kind of a grease containment system. Many times what we will find on different roofs is what they call a sandbox and what you'll see is a, is a large box like this and this would be an overhead view is a large box and then the fan is actually here the ductwork is right here and grease just kind of goes all over the place inside of this box and they call it a cat box or a sandbox because usually there's some type of gravel or some kind of a material like a spag that is actually going to suck up all the grease and let the moisture pass through. So these are the particular com com components in your kitchen exhaust system. Now what we didn't go over was we didn't go over the fire suppression system, which we actually service as well. But what I wanted you to see was what we interact with as far as hood cleaning. And this will kind of lead into a few of the other videos that we have. One about hinge kits, 
two about access panels, three about drip boxes or grease containment, and four, the most important product that we have out there on the market concerning hood cleaning is the grease lock disposable filters. It is a, almost a complete replacement for hood cleaning. Although it doesn't eradicate hood cleaning completely, it does severely limit the amount of hood cleaning, thereby reducing the risk of fire and also reducing the cost of hood cleaning. So join us again for the next video.